जीने का रास्ता क्या हो दिखाने की ताकत भारत के पास है और जो हजारों साल उसने जी करके दिखाया है अकेले महात्मा गांधी को ले उन्होंने जिन बातों को जी करके सिखाया है उसी को भी अगर दुनिया समझना शुरू करें तो मैं समझता हूं ग्लोबल वार्मिंग से लड़ने का रास्ता उसको मिल जाएगा बचने का रास्ता मिल जाएगा हम प्रकृति को प्रेम करने वाले लोग हैं हम ही तो लोग हैं जो नदी को मां कहते हैं The world is changing and India is leading the change from the front. The world is looking forward to a green future. For that, the world is turning towards India where life is still green. There is a subtle magic in the green, the magic of life, the magic of hope. This magic touch of verdant hope makes Kerala a special place on earth. God's own country it is said. and to enter the heart of this green spot you need nothing short of a green port Welcome to Cochin International Airport, the only green port in India. Let's rewind a bit and learn about the airport's history before we proceed any further. To say that this is India's first ever airport built with public-private partnership would be an understatement because the process of building one of the finest airports in the country involved acquiring 1253 acres from 3824 owners and demolishing three temples and two churches when the proposal for the international airport was mooted in 1993 to replace the solitary airstrip in the city that was handled by the indian navy there was nothing in support of it The solution was bringing in the participation of the airport users or non-resident Indians. After a long and tedious process, which included nurturing trust among the investors and experimenting with innovating funding strategies, the airport project took off. Today it has 18,000 stakeholders spread across 36 countries. But what stood out in the process was the extraordinary efficiency in the rehabilitation of those displaced for the project. All those who lost land or houses were granted a generous compensation. All the 822 persons who lost their houses were given jobs, developed lands and monetary benefits. The permit to operate prepaid cabs at the airport was restricted to those from displaced families. As much as 530 taxi permits have been issued till date. This airport took those in the neighborhood along with it. while soaring to unprecedented heights of success 6 years and 3000 million rupees after starting the work in 1993 the first international airport built with public partnership got off to a flying start when air india flight 916 from damam touched down at the tarmac on the 10th of june 1999 at 10:55 am with 203 passengers and 16 crew members on board Sixteen years later, the airport grew to be one of the busiest ones in the country, and correspondingly, the scale of operations escalated. This is the fourth largest airport in India, with an international passenger traffic of three million every year.
To keep the airport meeting the high quality standards it has set for itself, it takes a lot of investment. There cannot be any compromise on quality, but the real challenge is to meet the expenses, mainly that of power. On an average, the airport requires 48,000 units of power in a day. As it has always been throughout its history, Cochin International Airport came up with an indigenous solution for the problem, to generate power on its own and stop relying on the State Electricity Board. In March 2013, a 100 kilowatt peak solar photovoltaic plant was installed on the rooftop of the arrival terminal block. This was a trendsetter in the field of grid-connected solar power generation in the state. A 1 megawatt peak photovoltaic power plant was installed partly on the rooftop and partly on the ground in the aircraft maintenance hangar facility in November 2013. This was the first ever megawatt scale installation of solar power unit in the state. Buoyed by the success of the first two solar power plants, the airport aimed something remarkable next and pulled it off in style. Around 46,000 solar panels were put up in 45 acres near the cargo complex of the airport. This 12 megawatt peak solar plant was commissioned in August 2015, making Cochin International Airport the world's first ever airport to be completely powered by solar energy. Recently, CLS, Cochin International Airport Limited, has become the first airport in the world to be completely powered by solar energy. Our requirement is about 48,000 units of power a day. And uh, with the production facilities available with us, we'll be able to produce about 52,000 units of power a day. And I think we will be producing more than we are consuming and contributing to the, uh, the Government of India's mission to cut the uh, carbon emission. We give it to the grid. Whatever, I mean, the production of solar energy happens mainly between 10 in the morning till 4 in the afternoon the extra power, part of the power will be consumed by the airport and the extra power is, act, is fed into the grid and which in turn we buy back in the night. There's a sort of a banking facilities which has been given by the Kerala State Electricity Board. With power consumption lesser during the daytime, the airport supplies the excess power generated to the state power grid and buys back from the grid during night hours. At the end of the day, the power plant will generate, on an average, 52,000 units of power. The remaining power after consumption at the airport goes to the state power grid. This ensures that the airport remains power neutral, thus saving 120 million rupees towards power charges every year. We have been paying approximately 10 million rupees a month, contributing up approximately uh, 12 crores of rupees or 120 million rupees a year. Uh, we should be able to get back our investment in a little over five years from now. It has been completely funded by the Cochin International Airport from its own resources. It is estimated that the solar plants at Cochin International Airport will help to reduce the harmful carbon emissions by more than 175,000 metric tons over the next 25 years. To get a better idea, consider this. This is the equivalent of planting 50,000 acres of trees or not driving 750 million miles.
The world has acknowledged this with media coming from all over the world to witness the beginning of a new hope. India is actually the first country with a completely environmentally friendly airport. CCTV's Shweta Bajaj reports. Divya Gopalan, Al Jazeera, Kochi, Kerala. Kochi has become the first in the world to generate its own power by tapping solar energy. A welcome step in the right place. We are the first to do it and we are extremely happy a, a small little town in India has done it. Cochin International Airport in Kerala is the first in the world to run fully on solar power. The government targets to generate 1 lakh megawatt of solar power by 2022. Nothing could serve the nation's declared mission of reducing greenhouse emissions by up to 35% by 2030 in comparison to 2005 levels. India is also committed to 40% of non-fossil fuel energy to be adopted by 2030. The Honorable Prime Minister has announced that uh, India would reduce its carbon emission by 30 to 35 percent by the year 2030 and one of the main goals in that is to reduce dependence on the fossil fuel and Cochin International Airport has been trying to do that for the past one year. Cochin International Airport has proved that none of these are wild dreams. India is moving forward with a realistic vision with clarity and assurance that not many other nations can claim. It is not just about power generation. Being a movement that was born out of the initiative of the public, Cochin International Airport possesses a comprehensive vision on conservation and commitment to environment. The golf course owned by Cochin International Airport is another example. The full-fledged 18-hole golf course is entirely maintained by the sewage water collected and scientifically treated at the in-house plant operated by the airport. The plant that operates round the clock is able to process 750,000 litres of water a day. The airport also has a fully operational rainwater harvesting system, which feeds the garden near the hangar. The flowers of long-term visions of the airport authorities have bloomed in full. With the aim of supporting the ever-increasing power demand, the Cochin International Airport has taken up eight small hydroelectric projects across the state with an aggregate capacity of 50 megawatts. Cochin International Airport is spreading its wings, literally. It started off its remarkable journey with a clear vision of redefining the contours of community engagement. It has done that and is now poised to scale newer heights. Cochin International Airport is the true and only green port for the future to take off.
Cochin International Airport. Flying on a green wing.